Have you or your classmates ever struggled in class and found ways to improve your focus? In this science project, you'll play a game that assesses your executive function and interventions to see if you can improve your accuracy. The Wisconsin card sorting test is used to assess executive function in clinical trials and neurological exams. However, it's also a fun game to play. In this test, participants are asked to look at a card and identify a second card that shares the same classification or category. These categories include the shape, color, or number of shapes on the card. For example, if the top card has two blue triangles and the category is shape, you would choose the first card with triangles. If the category was color, you would choose the middle card that has blue squares since the top card has blue shapes. If the category was numbers, you would select the last card with two circles since the top card has two shapes. One example of the test follows. But before you start, inform the participants that they will be asked to identify which card below the dotted line matches the category of the top card. Ask the participants to place their finger on a piece of tape or mark it on a table between each set of cards. You can video record the participants so you can measure the reaction time and the accuracy of them performing the test. Ask the participants to randomly sit or stand during the task. They will perform the task again doing the opposite activity. Once you're ready, start the following test, which has already been put in random order. Ready? Let's start. Shape. Number. Color. Color. Shape. Shape. Number. Color. Number. After they've participated in both tests, de-identify them and use this information to place them in their respective patient populations. From this data, does standing improve the accuracy of performing this executive function test for all participants, or does it more selectively improve accuracy for those with neurodevelopmental disorders? For more detailed instructions on how to do this science project yourself, use the link in this video's description. Thank you for watching and see you next time.